All right, so Robin, these wiretap summaries you've obtained, you, you, they seem to show Mayor Ford tried to buy, at least according to the people on the tape, buy the infamous crack smoking tape from the transcript. And again, it's from a gang member, a guy named uh, Siadin Abdi. He was talking to a fellow gang member about what Ford offered him for the video. And he said, quote, yeah, he, meaning Ford, said, I'll give you 5000 in a car. What the F is that? This is crazy stuff. What, uh, what do you make of these transcripts? Basically, what's happened here, if you, and of course, these allegations haven't been proven in court, but it looks like Rob Ford seems to have chose to associate with a gang that happened to be under heavy police surveillance, and they were being wiretapped. Um, and suddenly the cops are kind of looking into this, this group for alleged gun smuggling and drug dealing, and they hear these guys talking about selling crack to the mayor of Toronto. Um, they are hearing about this house that the mayor seems to frequent to buy drugs from. And then somewhere along the line, they notice that these guys are talking to the Toronto Star about trying to sell a video of him smoking crack. Uh, throughout the tapes, you can hear or you understand that the gang members are talking about they're actually taking photos of him and threatening him with these. And at one point, completely bizarre aside, the mayor lost his phone at one point at one of these crack houses and then said something to the effect that he was trying to buy that phone back. And one of his associates allegedly threatened to rain heat down on the neighborhood if they didn't return the phone. It's a crazy story. It involves a kidnapping, and that's kind of where we are right now. How does a mayor of, an, of a major city like Toronto, a wonderful city, how does a mayor even get linked up with a violent drug gang? I mean, how, who makes that introduction? How do you... I, I'm just mystified. I mean, I, do, do, is that clear yet? Like, how does he start hanging out with a violent drug gang, whether or not he's buying crack or not? Just how does he start hanging out with them? Well, it's a certain area of, uh, uh, he's a counselor and he lives in the area. His home is only about 10 minutes away from this complex of housing where the Dixon City Bloods operate out of. Um, his older sister is a former heroin addict. Um, he has other addiction issues in his family. Um, I guess it's sort of a, a small world in some sense, but certainly I think if you if you believe that the mayor is using drugs, he he had some very un, he made an unlucky move uh, dealing with a gang that happens to be under one of the largest police wiretap investigations in recent years. Well, also, the, I mean, I guess I don't know if he felt they were his friends, but they're ex trying to uh, you know, according to these conversations, trying to extort him. Um, right. So, I mean, he's he's just not hanging out with a great group of, of, of folks, clearly. Um, another part of the transcript shows drug dealers talking about the mayor's alleged drug use. Um, one of them says, quote, Rob Ford wants some drugs. Another says, quote, the mayor of the city, Rob Ford, was smoking his rocks today. They right. even say they have pictures of Ford, quote, on the pipe. Um, does this, ha I mean, has the mayor responded to this? And again, these are... This is not the mayor talking on these tapes. These are uh, people involved in the drug trade. So, you know, I guess you have to take them with a grain of salt. Yeah, or what's really or... interesting about this is, is that the, there's, a, there's a, clear, um, a, a clear motive from these guys to take pic pictures of him and document him and, and collect, if you believe what they're saying, and basically collect a, you know, um, a get-out-of-jail-free card with, with, as far as the mayor was concerned. Um, they frequently make references to having evidence of him using drug use. They also note that they like him, by the way. They said, we like him a lot, but, you know, we've got so much stuff on him. Um, no, it's a completely bizarre, bizarre story. And, and the mayor so far has only said, you know, he might have smoked crack once, that one time in a drunken stupor. Today, his lawyer was at City Hall. And when he left uh, the building today, he sort of just chuckled. He hasn't responded to these at all. Well, also, it's sort of, you know, for all his talk about, well, I've done a great job. I mean, if he's making payoffs and, and, you know, being extorted, that's got to weigh heavily on anybody to, in terms of just being able to function at their job if you're being extorted for large amounts of money. There, now, I also understand, and this I find confusing, the cell phone video of Ford allegedly smoking crack. Now, I've seen some report that it's believed there's possibly a murder somehow wrapped up in this, that there's right. a picture um, f that the, from the Toronto police that we're now showing that the man on the left in this picture is a man allegedly murdered, is it because of the video? Right. This is a really complicated side story, and I'll try to explain it really quickly and uh, concisely. This man, Anthony Smith, was killed just days before the initial 
dealer called me saying they had this video. And that uh, that person said that the, the man, was, Anthony Smith, was killed because of the video. After the video story was published, members of the mayor's staff uh, were telling each other that they had received calls and that they believed that Anthony Smith was killed because of the video, that the video was on his phone and that was the motive for murder. It does not appear that that is the case. The police are very, my police officers are very adamant that that is not the case. This guy was killed with this regular gang fighting. But what is really significant is that members of the mayor of Toronto staff believed that this could have been true, but that the mayor being videotaped smoking crack was a motive for murder, and they were discussing it in office. I mean, it, it wow. is really right out of the wire. I mean, yeah. I, when I read these transcripts today, I mean, I, I was stunned. Uh, just incredible. Robin, I appreciate it again.